Razak, Rector of IIUM and Yang Berbahagia, Puan Sri Datin Masra Abidin accompanied by the IIUM Top Management. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to sing together the national anthem Negaraku. Thank you. Please be seated. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa salati wa salam mu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Praise be to Allah, the cherisher and the sustainer of the world, and blessings be on our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his family and his companions. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh, and a very good morning. Honourable Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of the International Islamic University Malaysia, and Honourable Puan Sri Datin Masra Abidin. Professor Dr. Isarji Haji Sarudin, Deputy Rector Academic and Industrial Linkages, CAM Chairman of IIUM Takrim Month 2020. Professor Dr. Jamaluddin Abdul Rahman, Senate Representative of the Boards of Governors, Honorable Former Rectors, Respected University Management Committee and Distinguished Guests, Associate Professor Dr. Lihana Burhan, Director Office of Knowledge for Change and Advancement, KCA, come Deputy Chairman, IIUM Takrim Month 2020. Deans, Directors, Senior Officials, Professors, Lecturers and Staff of the Gomba, Kuantan, Gambang, Sultan Ahmad Shah Medical Centre and Pagu Campus. Brothers and Sisters, Ladies and Gentlemen. Again, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala.
الأرض خليفة قالوا أتجعل فيها من يفسد فيها من يفسد فيها ويسفك الدماء ونحن نسبح بحمدك ونحن نسبح بحمدك ونقدس لك قال إني أعلم ما لا تعلم وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها ثم عرضهم على الملائكة فقال أنبئوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين قالوا سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم قال يا آدم أنبئهم بأسماء فلما أنبأهم بأسمائهم قال ألم أقل لكم قال ألم أقل لكم إني أعلم غيب السماوات والأرض وأعلم ما تبدون وما كنتم تكتمون وإذ قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا إلا إبليس (تصفيق) 
فسجدوا إلا إبليس أبا واستكبر وكان من الكافرين وقلنا يا آدم كن أنت وزوجك الجنة وكلا منها رغدا حيشيتما ولا تقربا هذه الشجرة فتكونا من الظالمين فأزلهما الشيطان عنها فأخرجهما مما كان فيه وقلنا اهبطوا بعضكم لبعض عدو ولكم في الأرض مستقر ومتاع إلى حين فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Syukran Ustaz Ladies and gentlemen Today 9th July 2020 The 18th day of Zul Qaeda 1441 Hijrah Allah has granted us His permission To gather here to acknowledge The hard work of our colleagues For the entire 2019 All the praises and thanks be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the worlds, for his blessing that we could gather here in the great hall of IIUM Culture Center, ICC, in the new normal mood post-COVID-19. I bid welcome to everyone to the prime event that gathers all staff members of IIUM, that is the IIUM Takrim Day 2020. And this morning, we are given another favorable circumstance to witness The rec and recon the recognition of all the dedication and commitment of our fellow colleagues to ensure the triumphant of IIUM in 2019. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth has arrived, the IIUM Takrim Day 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, Let us begin our program today with the International Green Gown Awards. The awards recognize the exceptional sustainability initiatives being undertaken by universities and colleges across the world in which IIUM was nominated as one of the finalists. These awards are endorsed by the United Nations Environment and supported by the Association of Commonwealth University, ACU, I try to pronounce this one. La Agence Université La Francophonie, AUF. <laughs> and this is in France, I mean. And, Interna and International Association of Universities, IAU. 
Last, last night, ladies and gentlemen, they were celebrating the winners of the awards via the virtual award ceremony in New York, where IIUM was also taking part. Let's take a look at the playback. So the first international category is Benefiting Society. And this year, we have 13 finalists. United Kingdom, yeah, yeah. De La Salle Lima, Philippines, Facet University Center, Brazil, HSC Montreal, Canada, International Islamic University, Malaysia, and University Saints Islam, Malaysia, Malaysia, Macquarie University, Australia, Northumbria University, UK, Quest International University, Perak, Malaysia, De de Universidad Autónoma de Querétaro, México, Universidad del Norte, Colombia, Universidad Pontificia Comillas, Spain, Universidad San, San Ignacio de Loyola, Peru. I now would like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Lihana Burhan and Professor Dr. Isaji Sarudin to accompany Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of IIUM, to come on stage to present the Certificate of Recognition to the leader of the Light Team, the finalist of the Green Gown Award. Please welcome Professor Architect Dr. Abdul Razak Sapian, Dean of CAED, for the Benefiting Society Category Award with project entitled Light, Leadership for Social Empowerment. Congratulations, Prof. Tansri, please take your seat. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now focus on the next playback. Roll it. Congratulations, everyone. 
Now, our final category is Sustainability Institution of the Year. And we have nine finalists. Charles Sturt University, Australia. De La Salle Lipa, Philippines. International Islamic University, Malaysia, Malaysia. Start AD, New York University, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Universidad San Ignacio de Loyola, Peru. Universidad Ec Milenio, Mexico. Universidad Veracruzana, Mexico. Universidad de Oviedo, Spain. University of Worcester, United Kingdom. To present the Sustainability Institution of the Year Award, please welcome Hillage Van Land from International Association of Universities. The winner of the Sustainability Institution of the Year International Green Gown Awards for a small institution goes to International Islamic University Malaysia. We'll now watch their video. In the last two years, we have been trying to manage to change the university into an university that is truly international and sustainable. In this way, we are able to move as much as possible nature of education for the future by changing not only the structure of the university but also the knowledge base as far as the university is concerned. In other words, IIUM is moving into a whole institutional transformation taking with it the national education philosophy, sustainable development goals, United Nations four pillars of learning and other very important foundation as far as the university is concerned. Among the things we do to transform IUM as a sustainability institution was to rename some of the offices and centres to suit their functions to promote sustainability agenda such as responsible research, student development, community engagement and knowledge for change. We also introduced holocratic leadership and management where everyone in the campus is empowered and entrusted to carry out their sustainability initiatives. Within a year, the impact of 39 flagship projects created could clearly be seen in five areas. First, the breaking down of academic administrative silos in a transformational way. Two, the building of voluntary teams and teamwork across the academic structure based on shared aspirations. Three, allowing for greater creativity and social innovation in translating SDGs into local context. Four, enhancing community engagement in core problem solving based on SDG. And lastly, capturing data and information to be transformed into knowledge and wisdom. The formal classroom education is now linked to our co-curricular activities which give more meanings to our community engagement projects through learning to know, learning to do, learning to be, learning to live together and learning to become. I hope you have been able to see the gist of transformation that we are trying to do for the last 24 months using the whole institutional transformation and also carving a new idea of what a human university is all about as a kind of novelty for the future. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the gift he granted us. It is in it indeed an honor for us all to extend the felicitations from the rest of the staff and students to the winner of Sustainability Institution of the Year category of the Green Gown Award. You have made us proud and we are indeed grateful to be part of the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite Professor Dr. Isarjis Haji Sarudin to accompany once again Professor Emeritus Tansri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of IIUM. Yang Berbahagia, Professor Emeritus Tansri Dr. Muhammad Kamal Hassan, IIUM Third Rector. And Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Sri Dr. Said Arabi Aidit, IIUM Fourth Rector, come on stage to present the Certificate of Recognition to... Wait until... 
they settle on the stage. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Wan Muhammad Hilmi Wan Kamal, Executive Director of Development Division, the leader of the team. Associate Professor Dr. Zainal Abidin Ben Sanusi, Director Sejahtera Center for Sustainability and Humanity, IIM. And last but not least, the person who is really in charge, Dr. Muhammad Faris Abdullah, Director of the, the Office for Strategy and Inti Institutional Change, OSIC IIUM, for the Sustainability Institution of the Year category with the project entitled Whole Institution Transformation from Humanizing University, Making a Novelty, Wit for Human. Okay, Dr. Faris. We are we are indeed proud of, of them all, the winners of the Green Gown Award, a world standard award, ladies and gentlemen. And it is just not enough of just saying tahniah. Mabrook, congratulations, what have you, without listening to the real words of wisdom from our fathers. <laughs> These are the people who are responsible in leading our way to success. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tan Sri Professor Muhammad Kamal Hassan to say a few words of inspiration to us all. Just a few words. Sini, eh? Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruh. Wa na'udhu billahi min shurur anfusina wa min sayyati amalina. Man yahadihi allahu fala mudilla lah wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana. Innaka anta al-alim al-hakim. وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ الْعَلْعَظِيمِ I can stop there. Alhamdulillah. This is, I might say, one of the happiest days in my life in IAUM. 37 years. After 37 years, we are now on top of the earth. Yeah? Uh, we are at the top now. Alhamdulillah, brought by a very forward-looking, futuristic leader, Tansri Zul. And his great team, led by all these uh, young, young women, women young, young men, and, and of course, young, young, young uncle. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, of course, uh, young, young, young Datuk here. So, uh, of course, it takes a leader to take us uh, beyond this world. So I, was, uh, I um, sent an um, email to Tan Sri Zul uh, last night after we got the news. I said, um, you have brought us to heaven now. We have gone beyond the earth, you know. And uh, one great thing that this award has done and what Tan Sri has done is that he has uh, changed the stereotype image of Islam and Muslims in the world. How could an Islamic university do this? You don't expect an Islamic university to do this kind of thing. You would expect us to just be in the mosque, sembahyang, puasa, puasa sunat banyak banyak, and all that, and, and nothing to contribute. Uh, to the society, let alone to the world. 
But this has brought us beyond the world and uh, to the whole universe now, alhamdulillah. So this is really a great day and that's why I wear this Hari Raya uh, suit. <laughs> to me, this is my Hari Raya. I don't care what you think. This is my Hari Raya. It's a great day indeed, alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, Zul. Thank you for the team. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa And thank you, Pansri, for your support. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Tansri. Happy eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is the uh, words of inspiration from our third rector. And why not now we listen to the word of motivational from our fourth rector. <laughs> He's also my sifu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa I just want to add on to Professor Kamal's words of wisdom. Uh, the, the image of IUM, we, we've always been associated with Islam and that mundane, stereotypic image of Islam. Uh, when, when I meet people from, from Saudi, they will say that we are not Islamic university. You know? They always say that, you, you are not Islamic university because if I bring Faris along, they will say, you brought an engineer, you don't bring a ulama with you. Yeah? So something wrong with us, yeah? something wrong with us. But now I see Saudi universities are also changing. You know, they're not only teaching about Quran, Hadith, they are now having faculties in medicine, engineering and whatnot. So the criticism they lash against us are now, they are now using that to emulate their own universities. Yeah. yeah, so now that we have this award given by United Nations, for example, it's, it's something good that we are now going up and up. So we have now established another yardstick, I think a milestone, that an Islamic university is basically a universal university. You know? It goes beyond just catering for the Muslims. It should be also catering for the non-Muslims and everybody in the world. So with that, I take congratulations to Professor Zul and his team. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Datuk Sri. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a history has been, another history has been created. And what most, the sweetest, I would say the sweetest moment that we have had today is to have three Rectors on stage at one time. <laughs> this is not easy to gather all of them and all of them are actually speaking to us, inshallah, afterwards. So we are listening, we are going to listen to our Professor Tansri. And um, I think uh, the photographers are going to. Uh, okay. All right, so this is the photography session. Ladies and gentlemen, while, while they are busy uh, taking photos, why don't you um, uh, WhatsApp your friends, your colleagues at the office or wherever they are to join us via virtual online IIUM Takrim 2020 uh, award ceremony? All right. So done. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, everyone. You may be seated. A big round of applause to the winners, to those who lead us to success.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, congratulations to the team that participated in Benefiting Society category of the Green Gown Award for being listed at fi as finalist and winner. A path has been created at the Green Gown track. Congratulations and tahniah once again. Kalau mencari buah asam, biar lebih jangan kurang. Kalau usaha tidak dipendam, pasti kejayaan akan dijulang. Congratulations once again. A big round of applause to the team for their timeless effort in organizing the sustainability initiatives, not only for the recognition, but most importantly, the contribution to the society that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now move on. We have settled with the Green Gown Award, now IIUM Takrim Award Ceremony 2020. Takrim 2020 was supposed to be a month-long celebration filled with events that showcase the talents, the incredible effort of the staff and students of IIUM, and our impact to the community. It was, however, cut short due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Nevertheless, we were able to have two major events that are Jom Masuk UIA and the flagship SDGs and industry exhibitions. We now share the highlights for those two events. Let us now take a look at the video presentation on, on Takrim Month 2020. Professor Sarji and also Dr. Lihana for organizing this. Okay, that is all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to uh, KC, uh, KCA yeah, for the um, video presentation. And now let us move on to the next agenda.
I would like to respectfully invite Yang Berbahagia Prof. Dr. Isarji Haji Sarudin, Deputy Director Academic and Industrial Linkages, come Chairman of IIUM Takrim Month to deliver his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Wa salatu wa salat Wa la ashrafil anbiya ishi musalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain Honorable Professor Emeritus Tansri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak Rector of the International Islamic University of Malaysia And Honorable Puan Sri Datin Masrah Abidin Professor Dr. Jamaluddin Abdul Rahman Senate Representative on the Board of Governors Honourable former rectors, respected university management committee members and distinguished guests, deans and directors, staff of IUM, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and a very good morning. I would like to again congratulate the university for the Green Gown Awards for small university and also for the finalists for the Light Leadership Project, which was uh, to congratulate also Pro Raza and Kuliah Architecture. The program was led by Associate Professor Dr. Halilah Zakaria, which was a project in the CEO at Faculty Fellowship Program. Today, I feel very privileged and honored to stand here in front of all of our colleagues and friends to acknowledge the achievements of our brilliant staff who have made the university, the kuliahs, the centers, the divisions, the institutes, the offices, and Tansri, the mahalas, proud. Our Takrim day today and this year is very special indeed. It is one chance in a lifetime experience for all of us to celebrate our Takrim day during the CMCO of COVID-19 pandemic using this blended mode and also to win the international award for the first time participation in this award. Today, we have gathered here not just to celebrate the achievements of 114 of our staff for the awards, but also to give due regard to our values, ethics, morality and virtues, the adab and akhlaq, which these awardees exemplify such as discipline, teamwork, compassion, respect, humility, and zeal for learning, research, and innovation. Distinguished guests, fellow colleagues, and friends, awards are a way to encourage good behavior, instill noble values, and inculcate comparative spirit and high touch or personal touch towards attitude and action. This is embedded in the mission of IUM, Professor Kamal. You wrote this with the team a long time ago, which is integrating the qualities of faith, knowledge, and good character, that is Iman, Ilm, and Akhlaq, to serve as agents of comprehensive and balanced progress, as well as sustainable development in Malaysia, in the Muslim world, and to all mankind. Rahmatan lil alamin. This is part of your mission, Prof. Kamal. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, organizing an event such as this requires the assistance of a large number of people. I would like to express my deepest appreciation and utmost gratitude to all committee members and chairpersons of committees, in particular, Associate Professor Dr. Lihana Bohan, the Deputy Chairperson of IIUM Takrim Day, for the extremely excellent effort and hard work for without them, the IIUM Takrim Day 2020 would have not been possible. They are always willing to go above and beyond in making events such as these, especially this year, a once in a lifetime experience, especially as the winner of the Green Gown Award, which is meant for exceptional sustainability initiatives undertaken by the world's universities and colleges. Let's give all of us a big round of applause. To all award winners, congratulations. 
These awards serve as a token of our deepest appreciation and gratitude to your continued dedication. And not, and not to forget, be thankful to Allah SWT for the rizq. Finally, I would like to use this wonderful opportunity to thank our president, he is not here, our rector, our deputy rectors, our executive directors, and all deans and directors for taking this institution to a new heights and creating a distinct path for the staff to lead, to lead the way. And I would also like to extend special thanks to all of you for joining us, for all of you, for your commitment, for dedication, support, and loyalty, not only today, not only this year, but for the past so many years, and especially as mentioned by Prof. Kama just now, for some of you since 37 years ago, since 1983, in, during the establishment of the IAM. We are grateful indeed that you could share with us in this journey. We thank Allah SWT for His hikmah, nikmah, barakah, and rizq. May Allah bless all of us. May Allah protect all of us. Hujan turun dengan petir. Air terkumpul dalam sumur. Nikmat hidup selalu takdir bagi mereka yang bersyukur. Thank you everyone. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Prof. Ladies and gentlemen, Takrim Day 2020 celebration simply depicts the effort done throughout the year. The Takrim activities signifies the presence and substance of leadership in IIUM. We are truly blessed to have the lineup of leaders who are dedicated and enthusiastic to lead for change. Tuan Tuan dan Puan Puan, Pinggan Tembaga Berisi Sadin, Cuci Bersama Kendi Yang Kotor. Ini dia Sang Pemimpin, selain daripada Deputy Rector. Eh? Ketua kita, Tan Sri Rektor. Without further delay, we let us all welcome yang berbahagia Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of IIUM to deliver his speech. Terima kasih. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalam syafi'il anbiya musalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah uh, Puan Syarizat Saudara saya Prof. Isarji Saradin Deputy Rector Academic and Industrial Linkages Kam Chairman IUM Takrim Month 2020 And berbahagia Prof. Datuk Jamaluddin Datuk will come later <laughs> Dr. Jamaluddin <laughs> Abdul Rahman the Senate Representative on Board of Governance Honourable former Rector, Professor Kamal, Professor Sa'arabi, Respected University Management Committee, Distinguished Guests, Professor, I should say Professor Liana Burhan, Director of KCA, and also Deputy Chairman of IIUM Takriman 2020, Dean Directors, colleagues, staff, brothers and sisters, students, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Let me begin with uh, a gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making this event a special one indeed. I'm also grateful that Allah bring COVID-19 down for the simple reason otherwise this takrim would have been done in April. By then the green gown was not mentioned. Somehow this is postponed just on the day after the green gown award and alhamdulillah we are destined to have it. So it is a kind of a plan that Allah has given to us and I think has a special meaning on what this is all about. So Alhamdulillah, we are here today not only to celebrate what we have done in this university but beyond the university as what Professor Kamal has said. This is something that I do not dream of. When I came here two years ago, I still was grappling and finding out what is it that we can do for the best of the university. We work on several projects and alhamdulillah, one of them turned to be what it is today. And we are now, pinch yourself if you don't believe this, we are now the best university on sustainable development around the world. 
Already last night, I've got a couple of emails congratulating us on what we have done and asking us whether we can accommodate them to be trained in this university. This is when the scary part starts. You know, when people come and see you and say, what can, what can I learn from you? What can you impart to us? And how can we share this together? But we will talk about that as I go to your kulia uh, later on uh, after my MC is over, perhaps sometimes next week. But ladies and gentlemen, I would want to congratulate all of you for giving me this opportunity to lead the university and to work with you. Often it is the good fortune of the rector when things like this happen, the rector get congratulated, the rector get all the heaps of you know, praises and so on and so forth. Let me not deny that, but I also want to share this with all of you. There's no way that I can do this alone without your help. There's no way I can do this alone without your support, your ideas, and your strength to encourage us to move forward. And for that, I would like to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart that we will do this together again, inshallah, to move forward for the next two years or so, inshallah. I would like to also congratulate all of you who have won today. I don't want this Green Gown uh, Award to overshadow whatever else that you have done. Indeed, whatever else you have done is the one that inspired the Green Gown Award or whatever other awards that we're going to receive, inshallah, in the coming, in the coming days or in the coming weeks. Yeah? I would like to share with you one secret. Yesterday, I was interviewed by another organization which is associated with the World Bank, with IMF, and also with the United Nations for the nomination. Somebody has nominated us, I don't know who, but for the nomination called the most innovative university for the year 2020. So, Prof. Kamal, please do the Smayang Hajat again. You know, <laughs> I know most of this is part of your spiritual help, your divine intervention. Yeah? This will be another iconic award to be called the most innovative university for the year 2020, coupled with the sustainable institution of the year, I think will make it. It blows my mind as far as this is concerned. So let's hope that the little thing that we have done, in all sincerity, will bring us the baraka that we need. I do believe, at the end of the day, whatever we achieve is all about the baraka. It's not about your numbers. The sustainable development goal that we talked about and we submitted for this award has no numbers at all. You can ask that to one, you can ask you know, those guys on the stage. It's all about what we have done and what we have impacted on real life rather than just numbers on papers. I'm not saying numbers are not important. They are important, but they are not the end all and be all. So for those of you who are stuck with numbers, open up your mind. We're going to go to your kulia and discuss what is it that we need to do moving forward beyond just numbers. We want to talk about the life of people. We want to talk about the dignity that we can bring to them. We want to talk about the equality that we want to bring to them. We want to talk about the justice that this university is fighting for on the, and on the level of Rahmatan Lil Alamin. Before I go further, I want just to stop here. I want, don't want to spoil your, 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 your occasion. But let me thank you once again. Let me thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again. And let me also thank you for accepting me to be in the university for almost two years now. My two years will end maybe two weeks from now. But I really indeed enjoy myself in this university. I feel part of you. I feel part of your family. And inshallah, we will work this together moving on forward. So thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you, Tan Sri. I believe that the winning of the Green Gown Award is the best medicine for Tan Sri for now. Yeah, and uh, we make dua that Allah protects all of Allah protect all of us, especially our leaders, for them to continue leading us to the way of success. Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed honoured to have the presence of Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Dr Muhammad Daud Baka the president of IIUM, virtually with us.
So this is in the new norm. Let us view and listen to his speech via the video presentation. Please roll. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Uh, I feel both humble and honored to be given this opportunity to say a few words uh, in this uh, auspicious event of uh, uh, you know, uh, appreciating the performers and achievers of the university in this Takrim Day of 2020. As usual, I would like to congratulate all of you for what you have done and for what you have been appreciated thus far though uh, we are not able to uh, you know to put the programs in a normal way due to the COVID-19 but inshallah this kind of celebration in our own way of doing things is still meaningful and significant to all of you. I would like to believe that you are uh, the great achievers and performers of the university are the role model of the university. I'm sure that you are very much inspired to do more and you're also equally inspired to inspire others. There's no point of uh, being uh, great performers if you're not uh, able to transform the bandwidth of your excellence, your quality to others to be inspired and to emulate your great achievement. It is always my hope from the deep and the bottom of my heart that you are going to walk high on this campus. When you are getting this award, you are one of the great achievers and we wanted to see in you uh, a very shining role, role model and example to all your colleagues. And this is very, very important because people always need to look for a role model and you are one of the role model of the university. So my colleagues, uh, the great achievers among the academician and the administrators of the university, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your great effort, for being uh, always uh, uh, diligent and uh, uh, cautious and uh, putting all the effort to achieve what you have achieved today and don't stop at that level. There's no limit for the quality. The quality is very abstract, abstract word. It, it has no boundaries. It has no standard. It can be of limitless. Excellent is always limitless. I'm sure uh, everyone can be limitless in our personality, in our performance, in our quality of work. I would like to take this opportunity as well to wish everyone, perhaps never too late to say, Samat Haraya Ain Mubarak, Kullu Ambu Antum Bikhair, make May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us, bless this university, and uh, make your uh, achievement uh, a kind of catalyst to achieve more and more in the future. May the quality be part of your life uh, uh, forever, and this is something Islam is all about, which is to maintain the quality from one level to another. Make sure you have all the rights, all the courage, mentally, physically, to carry with you the quality that you are being awarded today forever. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Datuk President. Alhamdulillah, thank you, OCAP, for the video. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Jentayu, si burung jentayu, hinggap seekor di tepi pangkalan. Ketua Perlembagaan Seorang Ratu ada di sini memberi ucapan. Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Congratulatory Address by Her Majesty, the Raja Pemaisuri Agong, Tunku Hajah Azizah Aminah Maimunah Iskandariah, Almarhum Al-Mutawakil Allah, Sultan Iskandar Al-Hajj via video presentation. Please take a look. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi to begin with, I would like to congratulate IIUM members of staff for this Takrim 2020 celebration. This is a time to celebrate the academic and non-academic award winners, as well as to showcase IIUM achievements. I hope that this is an indication of how thankful IIUM is to all its community 
a carefully thought of series of events that involved many parties, members of the staff, member of the alumni, the industry, the school children, and even the public. I cannot imagine how informative, fun, and entertaining this month-long celebration would be had it not been interrupted by the presence of COVID-19. Maybe next year, the circumstances would allow me to join in the celebration. While enjoying this event, there are a few things of which I would like to remind you all. We should always be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the strength to do what we have done so far. We should also always be humble and never rest on the laurels of the present success. Instead, we should strive for more and better successes. And we should also always work cooperatively with each other rather than working in silos to attain our collective goals. Remember, IIUM is here to serve Malaysia, the Ummah and the global community. All IIUM actions and initiatives should be planned meticulously so that they will leave a big impact at the global scene if we want to be recognized by the world. I pray to the Almighty Allah that there will be more and better IIUM successes in the future. And before I end this, I pray that Allah continues to bless us all, the university, the members of staff and the students, and may Allah protect us all from the COVID-19. Thank you very much. Wa billahi tawfiq wa hidayah wa salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Menjunjung kasih, Tuanku. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we will start with the announcement on the appreciation to the mahala for their effort in the Mahala Free Dengue Program we had for the entire 2019. This is an announcement. The Mahala involved in the Mahala Free Dengue Program is, there are three Mahala actually. There are Mahala Nusaibah, led by the principal, Dr. Julia Muhammad Said, Mahala Rukayyah, led by the principal, Dr. Nik Mat Saiful Azizi Nik Abdullah, and Mahala Salahuddin Al Ayubi, led by the principal, Dr. Muhammad Noor Hasrul Nizan Muhammad Noor. The, this appreciation is given to the few Mahala in IIUM Gombak campus for their constant achievement to maintain zero dengue case and clean from any Addis breeding area during the inspections throughout 2019 from January till December. We also would like to announce the winner for the competitions organized related to the Sustainable Development Goals, SDG, that is IIUM Green and Sustainable Campus Competition and IIUM Eco Campus Competition. And for that, we thank uh, the effort of the Office of the Deputy Rector Responsible Research and Innovation for organizing the competitions. And um, the winner are... Okay, the least uh, start with the third place. Okay. The third place goes to... Green and Sustainable Campus Project. The second place goes to Why Urban in Campus Paper Recycling Project. And the first place goes to the team with the project Rivers Vending Machine, RVM. And uh, this competition is about getting the best idea in promoting and achieving a green and sustainable campus. And uh, next is the um, IIUM Eco Campus Competition. And the third place goes to CFS Gambang Project entitled IIUM's First Green Campus. Second place goes to Green IT project entitled IIUM Soak Portal. And Soak Portal. And the first place goes to 
Sugar Greens Biodiversity Landscape with Edible Greens Project. And this competi competition is to encourage the involvement of non-academic staff of IIUM to participate and stimulate discussions, ideas and skills in making IIUM as low carbon and eco-friendly campus. And uh, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to also announce the winner for IIUM Takrim 2020 Exhibition Booth Awards, held on the 4th of March and 12th March, respectively, slightly before the lockdown. All right, the best, uh, Takrim Best Booth Award for flagship goes to Jungle School Initiative Booth led by Dr. Nuzalifa Zainal Abidin from CAED. Next is the best booth for SDG, and it goes to Sejahtera Sports for All. Takrim Best Booth Award for KCDIO goes to Office of Security Management. And finally, Takrim Special Booth Award goes to Counseling and Career Services Center. This one was um, the booth uh, organized during Joe Masuk U exhibition on the 4th March 2020. So congratulations to all the winners and also to the Mahala. Ladies and gentlemen, since uh, the meal is served on your table, so feel free to... Um, Enjoy your meal. All right, so this is the, um, I would say, the um, event or program that we are waiting for. The presentation of awards for IIUM Takrim 2020. And for now, I have the pleasure to respectfully invite Professor Dr. Ahmad Hafiz bin Zukifli, the Deputy Rector, Responsible Research and Innovation, accompanied by Associate Professor Dr. Lihana Burhan, Director of Knowledge for Change and Advancement, KCA, come the Deputy Chairman of IIUM Takrim 2020. We would also be grateful if uh, the audience could uh, clap your hands when your friends go up on the stage. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We should be cheerful, whatever it is. Yeah? Uh. <laughs> All right, so the first award is the Best Kulia Award, Responsible Research and Innovation. The, this award is designed to recognize and celebrate the outstanding Kulia's overall contribution in terms of university research performance. The awards fall into three categories, social sciences, sciences and technology, and medical and health sciences. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the recipient for the first category, arts and social science, the best Kulia responsible research and innovation goes to, by the way, the winner knows or not? They, they know it already. Okay, it is not a surprise anymore. So I just read it. Okay, the winner is IIUM Institute of Islamic Banking and Finance, the Dean's Associate Professor, Dr. Salina Kasim. This award is, uh, okay, so that is for Arts and Social Sciences. Next is the Best Kulia Award, Responsible Research and Innovation for the Science and Technology category. Okay, the Kulia is the Kulia of Science and the recipient is Associate Professor Dr. Shahbuddin Sa'ad. And 
for the medical and science medical and health sciences category the best kulia award responsible research and innovation goes to kulia pharmacy and the dean is associate professor dr che soraya mohammad zain and she is represented by associate professor dr alfi khatib head of research Congratulations. Now let's move on to the uh, next award. That is the Product Innovation and Commercialization Award. We have only one winner here. And the winner is Associate Professor Dr. Farahida Muhammad from Kulia of Pharmacy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually an individual award to recognize the contribution of academics who have successfully generated income to the university by means of commercialization of research output. Congratulations, Dr. Farahida. And um, moving on to the next award, High Impact Responsible Research Award. This award is designed to recognize academics who have contributed significantly to the community through his research, his or her research. There are three categories of um, the award, social science, sciences and technology, and medical and health sciences. And uh, for the arts and social sciences category, the winner for High Impact Responsible Research Award goes to Professor Dr. Mariana Muhammad Osman from the Kulia of Architecture and Environmental Design. Next is the High Impact Responsible Research Award for Science and Technology category and the winner is Associate Professor Dr. Yumi Zuhanis Hasyun Hashim from the International Institute for Halal Research and Training in Heart. Congratulations to the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, next award is presented to recognize staff who obtained the highest citation in index journal in the publication of the last five years. The awards fall into three categories, social science, sciences and technology, and medical and health sciences. The award is the, award is the highest citation in index journal award. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we are not yet to the highest citation of Index Journal Award, ladies and gentlemen, pardon me. We are still in the High Impact Responsible Research Award in Medical and Health Sciences category. And the winner is Assistant Professor Dr. Siti Roshai Dai Muhammad Arifin from the Kulia of Nursing. Next is High Impact Responsible Award, Responsible Innovation Award for Arts and Social Sciences category. And the winner is Associate Professor Dr. Almira Akhmetova from the Kulia of Islamic Rebel Knowledge and Human Sciences. And for this one, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the winner. It is the High Impact Responsible Innovation Award for Science and Technology. The winner is none other 
but Professor Dr. Muhammad Hadi Habibi from the Kuliah of Engineering. So the Dean of the Kuliah is just there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the um, last recipient for High Impact Responsible Innovation Award for Medical and Health Sciences category. And the winner is Associate Professor Dr. Hazrina Abdul Hadi from the Kulia Pharmacy. Now this is the time for the highest citation in Index General Award. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the highest citation in Index General Award for the Arts and Social Sciences category goes to Professor Dr. A.K.M. Ahasanul Haq, Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences. Next highest citation in Index General Award for the Science and Technology category is Assistant Professor Dr. Muhammad Adli Mat Ali, Kulia of Science. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that you are busy having your meal. But I just would like to uh, remind you once again that the IIUM Takrim 2020 Award Ceremony is also available virtually. Just remind your colleagues, WhatsApp them and inform them the link to the IIUM Takrim 2020 virt Virtual Award Ceremony. It's in the uh, IIUM announcement. It's in their email. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the top 30 contributors of IIUM's performance in which they have contributed to the Myra Marks for the year 2019. And they are, once again, Assistant Professor Dr. Muhammad Adli bin Mat Ali, Kulia of Science. He contributed the highest mark for Myra. Yeah? Next is Associate Professor Dr. Farahida Muhammad from Kulia Pharmacy. Next recipient is Associate Professor Dr. Hazrina Abdul Hadi, also from the Kulia Pharmacy. Next is Professor Dr. Ratnawati Muhammad Ashraf, Kulia of Education. Associate Professor Dr. Rashidi Osman from the Kulia of Architecture and Environmental Design. Professor Dr. Moha Asri bin Abdullah from the Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences. Next, Associate Professor Dr. Azman bin Muhammad Noor from IIBF. Let's now welcome Professor Dr. Ahmad Hafiz bin Zulkifli himself to receive the certificate. Okay. All right, okay. All right, can we move on? All right. So now, moving on, and this one is also 
interesting. Let us call upon Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of IIUM. He also contributed to the Myra list, uh, Myra Marks. He he wants to take the long way. Congratulations, Tan, Tan Sri. <laughs> Next is Professor Dr. Asadullah Shah from KICT. <laughs> Professor Dr. Muhammad Abdulaiz, Shamsuddin Muhammad Yaakob in absentia. This one also interesting. I will call it uh, loud and clear from the Kulia of Engineering, Assistant Professor Dr. Ahmad Imran bin Ibrahim. <laughs> Another one from the Kulia of Engineering, Professor Dr. Hadi Habibi. This one also from the Kulia of Engineering, Professor Dr. Sher Afghan Khan. Next one is our neighbor from Kulia of Architecture and Environmental Design, Professor Dr. Mariana Muhammad. Next door. From Kulia of Education, Professor Dr. Daud Abdul Malik Yahya Al Hidabi. Next is Associate Professor Dr. Rabuan Jamal Yusuf Elatrash from the Kulia of Islamic Rural Knowledge and Human Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a big round of applause to our leader. None others but Professor Datuk Sri Said Arabi bin Said Abdullah Aidit from the Kulia of Islamic Rumi Knowledge and Human Science. It is there in the list, Prof. Another professor from the Kulia of Engineering, Professor Dr. Ahmad Fazil bin Ismail. From the Kulia of Pharmacy, Associate Professor Dr. Abu Bashar Muhammad Helaluddin. There's one professor. Again from the Kulia of Engineering, Professor Dr. Anis Nur Ashikin Binti Nordin. From I call Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Leiba. Assistant Professor Dr. Nurul Farahin bin Muhammad from Kulia of Science. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, our old timer, Professor Dr. Kamaruzaman bin Yunus from Kulia of Science. Last but certainly not least, Assistant Professor Dr. Siti Roshadai bin T. Muhammad Arifin from Kulia of Nursing.
Congratulations and thank you, Prof. Hafiz. Uh, congratulations to all recipients. Thank you, Prof. Hafiz. You may now take your seat, but Dr. Lihana, you will have to remain on stage for the ne next round of award presentation. Eh? So for that, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Professor <clears throat> Dr. Noor Farida Abdulmanaf, Deputy Rector International and Global Network, to present the next award. Okay, are we ready? Okay, uh, the, the next award that will be presented is the World First Project Award, which is given to projects that have been identified to be the first of its kind in the world. Yeah? So we are proud to recognize these leading the way projects. And uh, the first one is Okay, the first project yeah, is significant as the town of Ikan Patin is located at the center point of the peninsula. Okay, it's Temerloh Bandar Ikan Patin. Okay, the project is Patin Buah as sustainable food production sources, and the project is to enhance the production of Patin Buah. Let's now invite the leader of the project, Dr. Nur Nazifa Mansur from the Kuliah of Science, to receive the award for for the team. Right. Next recipient for this award is a project entitled Gender Dys Dysphoria led by Associate Professor Dr. Samsul Draman from the Kulia of Medicine. The project is an outreach pro program to bring the glory of Islam by championing the issue of anti-LGBT. Ladies and gentlemen, the IIUM Takrim 2020 also recognized a project from IIUM Library entitled IIUM Library Classification System for Knowledge Resources on Islam, ICSI, led by Madam Nuraini Mukta as one of the World First Project Award. Please welcome Madam Nuraini to receive the award on behalf of the team. All right, congratulations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, next award is Most Impactful Flagship Project Award. And the project is led by Dr. Farah Natasha Muhammad from the Kuli of Dentistry, known as I Do Care. The project offered free dental services to the senior citizen, which proven as beneficial and impactful to the community. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big round of applause after this or do we need a training for that? Okay, let's train our hand to give a big round of applause. Alamak, yang belakang tu, salahnya. This is supposed to be an award ceremony. So how do we act in an award ceremony? By the way, so the next uh, project is most uh, the next award eh, is the most participative flagship project award the recipient is a project entitled sustainable smoke-free campus community led by associate professor dr muhammad haniki nick muhammad from kulia pharmacy okay this project is about propagating healthy lifestyle by helping smokers to quit Various activities have been conducted with the most participative members. Okay, that's about healthy lifestyle and this is another healthy lifestyle project. Ladies and gentlemen, the next project is interesting as the name of the award itself. All right? So this is the most elated project award 
And this project is led by our own brother, Brother Ilmizat Ismail from the Office of Deputy Rector, Academic and Industrial Linkages. The project entitled SDG Health Group, okay? And it offers physical and mental health enhancement program for IIM community. The project propagates balance and healthy lifestyle. And I was informed that Brother Ilmizat has not taken I mean, not eaten durian now for a balanced diet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Mijat. Moving on to the next award, that the most innovative flagship project award. Yeah? The project is entitled Malay Medical Manuscript as Sources of Health Information, led by Dr. Muhammad Effendi Muhammad Shafri from the Kulia of Allied Health Sciences. And this project is a study on Malay manuscripts in relation to medicinal properties of health. It is a unique project and can be considered as regional first. All right, so the next award is the Social Entrepreneur Award. The recipient of this award is the IIUM Radiant Eco Back Project led by Dr. Siti Zainab Tawhid from the Sultan Ahmad Shah Medical Center. Let us invite Dr. Siti Zainab who just celebrated her birthday three days ago to receive the award on behalf of our team members. Happy birthday Dr. Siti. The project is about recycling of banners and buntings to produce eco bag apron and other items. The Radiant Eco Bag is an income generation project that benefit the low income B40 and gender dysphoria community. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind everyone, do not forget your colleagues at, at the office or wherever they are, join us via online. Yeah? We we'll still have a long list of awards to witness. So just WhatsApp your group, uh, uh, the link of the virtual event. If they do not have that, just check in their mailbox of announcement, yeah? Uh, but whatever it is, just make sure that your handphone is on silent mode, right? So we are still in the ceremony, physically in the hall. All right, now, moving on to the next agenda, the most promising project award. Okay, this project is actually very close to me, very, very close. Simply because the hive boxes of the stingless bees are located just outside my office, the Dean's office of KOE. There are two of them and I was told there are several also and uh, close to the rector's house as well. Yeah? So for this one, the Taman Madu Kululut project is the recipient of this award. Please welcome Brother Ahmad Shuhairi Majabah from the Kulia of Engineering to receive the award on behalf of his team. This project is a social entrepreneurship effort with a viable expansion and it puts nature at, at its best. Congratulations, Prof. Arida. Okay, this is the last award for you. Yeah? The Best Virtual, virtual Presence Award and the recipient is Darul Hikmah Library. So let us invite Madam Haja Sarifa Abdullah, Chief Librarian, to receive the award. The selection of this recipient is based on the evaluation on the KCDIO website following this criteria, technology, content, design, creativity, and visitors. So congratulations to all recipients. Thank you, Prof. Dr. Noor Farida. You may now take your seat. Okay, Dr. Lehana, please stay. Jangan lari. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the pleasure to invite Associate Professor Dr. Zulkifli Hassan, Deputy Rector, Student Development and Communication Engagement, onto the stage, Community Engagement, onto the stage to present the awards to the winner. Okay, the first award is Mahalah Sejahtera Award and we go to the third place first. All right, Mahalah Sejahtera, Sejahtera Award, third place. 
goes to Mahalah Ali and the principal is Dr. Ahmad Zahirani bin Ahmad Azhar from the Kuliah of Engineering. Next, Mahalah Sejahtera Award, second place, goes to Mahalah Sumayyah and the principal is Dr. Shamsina Muhammad Hanifa. So we keep the winner for the first place um, somewhere, inshallah, in this event as well. Okay, next is Community Engagement Award. Student category, and the winner is Sister Nuruline Nadira Abdul Muin. Next award is Staff Sports Award Individual male category again from the Kuliah of Engineering Assistant Professor Dr. Wan Muhammad Fazli Wan Nawawi and, and the last award is Staff Sports Award Individual for Female Category goes to Citra Yunita Muhammad Ilham from the SDC. Thank you, Dr. Zul, Dr. Lihana. You need drink or something? Okay. So you're okay, yeah? Right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the uh, next award. And this award is going to be presented by Yang Berbahagia Dr. Datuk Abdul Rahim Haji Ahmad, Executive Director of Management Services Division. Please welcome. The first category award is Sejahtera Leadership Award Professional and Management Group Grade 44 to 54 and the recipient is Madam Khairul Bariyah Kamarudin from the Management Services Division. Next is the Sejahtera Leadership Award for Professional and Management Group Non-Technical Grade 41 to 44 The winner, the winner is Puan Nurul Ain Muhammad Noor from STAD Next award is Sejahtera Leadership Award Professional and Management Group Technical and Professional Grade 41 to 44, and the recipient is Encik Muhammad Azrul Hazrin Abdul Razak from Office of the Legal Advisors. Sejahtera Leadership Award for Support Group Technical, Grade 29 to 40, the recipient is Encik Muhammad Sharif Hashim from CFS. To the Sejahtera Leadership Award Support Group, Non-Technical and Sub-Professional, Grade 29 to 40, in the recipient is Ms. Samsina Zira or Elias Noor Azira Johari from the Kulia Pharmacy. Sejahtera Leadership Award Support Group Non Technical Grade 20, 22 to 28 goes to Puan Sapia Abdul Hamid from the IRKHS.
Sejahtera Leadership Award Support Group Non Technical Grade 19 goes to Puan Siti Nur Zariah Shahadan from Osik. She is still in confinement after two weeks of delivering new baby. The youngest, yeah. Moving on to the Sejahtera Leadership Award Support Group Technical and Sub Professional Grade B, F, T, J, K, P, S, W, 19 to 26, and the winner is Encik Muhammad Zukifli Muhammad Yasin from OCD Kuantan. Office of the Campus Director. Sejahtera Leadership Award for Support Group, Technical and Sub Professional, Grade C, and U, 19 to 26. The recipient is Aida Elias No Azma Cik Derahman from the Kuliah of Dentistry. Sejahtera Leadership Award Support Group Skilled and Semi Semi Skilled Grade B H N R U 1 to 14. The recipient is Encik Muhammad Faizal Omar from Kuliah of Medicine. Next is the Sejahtera Leadership Award Support Group. Skilled and semi-skilled, grade KP one to fourteen. The recipient is Encik Sumardi Ahmadia from Osem. The next award is Creativity and Innovation Award, category Technical. And this award is given to an administrative and technical staff that has introduced new creative and innovative idea and improved idea that has been implemented effectively by the university. And the recipient for creative and innovation award for category for technical category is Puan Sri Viyawarti Nordin from Kulia Pharmacy. Next, creativity, creativity and innovation award for non-technical category, and the recipient is Anci Suhairi Sulaiman Shah from Icor. Thank, thank you, Rato. Now let's uh, let's move on to the um, the next list of award. Yeah? So this award is going to be presented by Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Haji Ahmad Zailan Shahari, Executive Director of Finance Division. Please welcome. Right, uh, the award. The award is Best Risk Management Practice Award. The best, the best risk management practice award, is given based on the criteria: timeline, timeliness, awareness, report on risk analysis, number of NCR OFI, and effectiveness of mitigation plan. And the winner is Dara Hikmah Library. Led by the Chief Librarian, Madam Haja Sarifah Abdullah.
Next award is Financial Sustainability Award for agency and the winner is Center for Community Engagement and Services, Sensef. Led by Madam Martinelli Hashim. And next award for the Mahalah category, Financial Sustainability Award goes to Mahalah Safia. Let's call upon the principal, Dr. No Suzy Lawati Rabe. Okay, we have done with the Dato Ahmad Zailan. Thank you. Tak panas lagi tu eh. Unta. All right. Now, let's go to the next uh, list of award, and this award is going to be presented by Yang Berbahagia, Dato Haji Wan Muhammad Hilmi Wan Kamal, Executive Director, Planning and Development. Please welcome. All right, the award is Environmental Sustainability Award for Mahala category and the consolation prize goes to Mahala Sumaya. The principal is Dr. Shamsina Muhammad Hanifa. Next, Environmental Sustainability Award for agency category, the consolation prize goes to the Kulia of Islamic River Knowledge and Human Sciences with the Dean Associate Professor Dr. Shukran Ab Dr. Shukran Abdul Rahman. Ladies and gentlemen, the last award for this list is Service Excellence Awards for DBSB staff and the recipient is Puan Yeni Hastuti Ahmad. Okay, it's not the last one actually. For DBSB, we have another three. Okay, next is Service Excellent Awards for DBSB staff. And the recipient is Ms. Nur Shuhada Muhammad Rosin. Puan Nur Shuhada Muhammad Rosin. Next is Extraordinary Diligence Awards for DBSB staff. And the recipient is Puan Rose Katina Wati Baharu. And another Extraordinary Diligence Awards for DBSB staff goes to Encik Muhammad Fauzi Isha. Thank you, Dato. All right, for the next award, Dr. Lihana is the Deputy Chair of IIUM Takrim Month 2020. Please stay because we are going to call Professor Dr. Isarji Sarudin, the Deputy Director Academic and Industrial Linkages, come the Chairman of IIUM Takrim Month 2020 to present the award. So both Chairman and Deputy on stage now. And the, the, award are, the awards are Murabi Award, Arts and Social Sciences. Category, Applied Literature and Applied Social Sciences. And the recipient is Assistant Professor Dr. Adlina Haji Arifin from IRKHS.
Next is Murabi Award Science and Technology Applied Science Category. The recipient is Associate Professor Dr. Mira Kartiwi from KICT. Murabi Award for the Medical and Health Sciences category goes to Assistant Professor Dr. Zaitun Natahin Zamli from the Kulia of Allied Health Sciences. This time, the Murabi Award Science and Technology for Engineering category. Of course, it goes to the Kulia of Engineering staff. And the recipient is Associate Professor Dr. Sani Izan Eksan. <laughs> Murabi Award Arts and Social Sciences goes to Associate Professor Dr. Nuraini Muhammad Arifin from the Kulia of, Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences. <laughs> Murabi Award Center for Foundation Studies and they have also uh, various categories under that and the first category is Arts and Social Sciences. The recipient is Madam Wan Razia Wan Abdullah. And another Murabi Award, award for, for Center for Foundation Studies under the category of Science and, and Technology. The recipient is Madam Suhaili Hussein or Matsin from CFS as well. Moving on to the Murabi Award for Center for Languages and Pre-University Development, Arts and Social Science. The recipient is Madam Sabaria Bakri from Salpad. Moving on to the most promis promising academic award, Science and Technology. And the recipient is <coughs> Assistant Professor Dr. Technologist Zahira Zukifli from KICT. Zahida, beg your pardon. The next most promising academic award, Arts and Social Sciences, goes to Assistant Professor Dr. Marhanum Cik, Cik Muhammad Saleh from the Kulia of Engineering and Economics and Management Sciences. It's E. So, economics, engineering. <laughs> next, next most promising academic award, Medical and Health Sciences. The recipient is Associate Professor Dr. Ahmad Aidil Arafat Zulkarnain from the Kulia of Allied Health Sciences. Thank you, Prof. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the highlight of the event. That is the presentation of the Grand Awards for IIUM Takrim 2020 ceremony. There are 16 awards which covers the achievement of not only the students and staff of IIUM, but also the alumni of the university. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, let us now welcome on stage Yang Berbahagia, Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of IIUM, accompanied once again by Professor Dr. Isarji Haji Sarudin, the Deputy Rector Academic and Industrial Linkages, come Chairman of IIUM Takrim 2020, and already on stage, Associate Professor Dr. Lihana Burhan, Director of Office and Knowledge for Change and Investment, KCA, come Deputy Chairman IIUM Takrim Month 
2020. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we shall now start with the Insan Sejahtera Award. The recipient for this award is Ms. Roy Haiza Abdullah from the Kulia of Ahmad Ibrahim Kulia of, from I call Kulia Ahmad Ibrahim Kulia of Laws. And uh, Sister Ro, Roy Haiza is is active in hum humanitarian mission for Syria refugees in Gaziantep, Turkey, and also actively participate in I Can Teach education support program for Ronghi Rohingya refugees at Madrasah Darul Islah Rohingya Academy Ampang. All right, congratulations. And um, the next award is the Best Student Association Award. And this award goes to IIUM UNESCO Club. And the IIUM UNESCO Club is represent, represented by this award. All right, congratulations. Next award is Flagship Award Project Overall. And it goes to Peace, Building and Civilization for Humanity and the leader is Associate Professor Dr. Daniel Yusuf from ISTAC. Next flagship project award overall goes to accounting and analytics for ummah and the leader is associate professor dr suhaiza ismail from the kulia of economics and management sciences flagship project award overall the next one goes to Islamic Social Finance for B40 Community and the leader is Associate Professor Dr. Romzi Rosman from IIBF. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next award is Environmental Sustainability Award. And the recipient is Mahala Asia and the principal is Dr. Khairayu Badrun, also from the Kulia of Engineering. Oh. The best Kulia Award Responsible Research and Innovation overall winner is the Kulia of Pharmacy. Represented, represented by Associate Professor Dr. Alfi Khatib, the Head of Research. And ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to Mahala Sejahtera Award. The first place goes to Mahala Bilal and the principal is Brother Muhammad Abdul Rahman. The next award is an award aims to recognize staff who demonstrates the highest level of ethical standard, integrity and discipline in the discharge of his professional and duty and inspire others as well with his exemplary character. And this is Sejahtera Integrity Award. And the winner is Assistant Professor Dr. Nazro Kamil Mustafa Kamil from the Kulia of, in, of Economics and Management Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, the Outstanding Administrator Award Professional and Management, the recipient is Encik Mayor Azro Shaharuddin from CFS.
Next Outstanding Administrator Award for Support Group goes to Madam Aznita Ahmad Zaini from the Office for Strategy and Institutional Change. Another Outstanding Administrator Award for Support Group goes to Encik Muhammad Rashdan Baba from the Library. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, the Book Publication Award. The recipient is Professor Dr. Rosnani Hashim with, his, with her book entitled Towards an Islamic Curriculum, Principles and Issues. Next is the Alumni Engagement Award for Kulia. This one. All right, so let's invite the Dean of Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences, Professor Dr. Hassanuddin Abdul Aziz, to receive the award. Next is Alumni Engagement Award for Non Kulia. And the winner or the recipient is the Center for Community Engagement and Services, CENSELF, led by Madam Martinelli Hashim. Next award is IIUM Toko Alumni Award for Male. The recipient is Mr. Amir Bukvik. Okay. Okay. And Mr. Bukvik is represented by Mr. Milenko Rylik from from the Bosnia Herzegovina Embassy. Thank you, sir. Another IIUM Tokoh Alumni Award for male is Another IIUM Toko Alumni Award for male goes to Professor Dr. Muhammad Aslam bin Muhammad Hanif from the Kuliaf of Economics and Management Sciences. Now let's go to the IIUM Toko Alumni Award for Female and the recipient is Dr. Huriyah bin Islami and she is represented by Fatima, Sister Fatima Al-Atas from the Republic of Indonesia Embassy Thank you and last but certainly not least for the alumni and this time is IIUM Alumni Icon Award and the recipient is Colonel Dr. Muhammad Ashrail bin Moidin.
Next, next award is the Global Prominence Award, and the recipient is IIUM Institute of Islamic Banking and Finance, and the dean is Associate Professor Dr. Salina Kasim. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award is the Toko Academic Award. And before we invite the recipient of this award, let us take a look on the video presentation. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Born uh, in 1962 in Batu Pahat, Johor. My mother at that time was a teacher. My father was in the at that time was in the British Army. 1982 uh, at the Faculty of Law. I joined IUM as a tutor in 1986. I went to do my master's degree at the University of London, King's College actually. In 1992, uh, went on to do my uh, PhD at the University of Aberdeen and coming back, came back in 1995. The most memorable thing during the period of the, uh, the period when I was the dean was the, the naming of the kulia. Five years of being the dean, and I decided that that's it, that was it. So I want to just stay and become a just ordinary lecturer. So uh, that was well, there was three years, uh, okay. And uh, I think one memorable incident at that time was the uh, was the demonstration organized uh, by students, okay, students who were supporting the opposition at that time. was held for three years and uh, after that I decided to apply for a sabbatical. Uh, so until now I'm back in the faculty, you know, as an ordinary lecturer, uh, teaching and doing research, uh, you know, that which I love most. But I'm not a person of achievement really, I don't re really win many awards. But there was one award for uh, best research uh, at, the, at the Kulia of Laws. Uh, that was uh, perhaps some, something that I can look forward to. What we have done to the students, we make them somebody. I think the whole idea of having a internet of a higher education is to provide uh, people with the opportunity to improve themselves and also to improve the society as well because they are surrounded by the society. When they contribute to the society, then they are in fact improving the society. They are also putting higher levels uh, for their family members as well. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. The recipient is none other but Professor Professor Dr. Nick Ahmad Kamal Nick Mahmoud from ICOL. Tanya, Prof. Nick. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the Special Recognition Award. This award is the gesture of appreciation from the university for the contribution and effortless dedication for the agencies and as well as projects done to the success of the university. The first recipient is the Peninsula Medical Sendirian Berhad. The IIM Medical Center of 
or IIUMMC opened its door in 2016. Effective 18th March 2020, it was renamed the Sultan Ahmad Shah Medical Center at IIUM in honor of our first constitutional head. To commemorate this, the Peninsula Medicine has graciously sponsored the main letterings for fronting the building. We now invite Encik Zahruddin bin Yusuf, General Manager of the Peninsula Medical Sendiran Berhad, to receive a special recognition award. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives it gives us great pleasure to inform you that IIUM Kuantan Campus successfully organized my 1200 IIUM Intercampus Ultra Distance Cycling 2020 on 29th February till 4th March 2020. Ultra Distance Cycling has become very popular worldwide as well as in Malaysia. Popular ultra-distance cycling events include Paris, Brice Paris, 1200 km, which is the oldest cycling event in the world since 1891. London, Ed Edinburgh, London, 1400 km, Perth, Albany, Perth, 1200 km, Transcontinental Race, over 5000 km, and Trans M bike race 6800 km and my 1200 is the first 1200 km cycling event in Malaysia and this is the first ever ultra distance cycling event organized by IIUM Kuantan campus therefore please welcome on stage professor Dr Jamaluddin Abdul Rahman from the Kulia of Medicine to receive the special recognition award on behalf of the Kulia Next recipient of the Special Recognition Award for IIUM Takrim Award 2020 is the RCE Greater Gomba Project. Two years ago, the university started our bid to be recognized by the United Nations University for being a regional center of excellence on education for sustainable development. Alhamdulillah, we were accorded that status as host of RCE Greater Gomba on April 1st, 2020. We also see this as a recognition of the work that the entire university community has poured into community engagement and sustainability over the years. We now invite Associate Professor Dr. Zainal Abidin Sanusi, the Director of Sejahtera Centre for Sustainability and Humanity, as the leader of the task force task to collect, to collate information and manage the application process to accept the Special Recognition Award on behalf of the university community. Okay, done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final recipient of this Special Recognition Award, and we have a list of them. Even though that the list won't finish just there. So this is for the frontliners of IIUM. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 had taught us a lesson we should never forget. It is about cleanliness, obedience, vigilance, istikoma and integrity. Last but not least, discipline. The Malaysian government has issued the Movement Control Order, MCO, that urged Malaysian to stay at home for almost 100 days except the frontliners who are the health workers, security personnel and some of the administrators and technical staff. On this occasion, we would like to take the opportunity to express our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to all the frontliners of IIUM, which includes our healthcare staff in the IIUM Health and Wellness Center, our security personnel at OSAM, the RSD staff, and the Mahala principals and fellows for their dedication in taking care of stranded students, local and international, our staff who involved in the PPE project for the other frontliners, and the list continues. And we are humbled 
humbled by your immense sacrifices, invaluable dedication, commitment and unwavering efforts in managing COVID-19. We cannot thank you enough for your noble contributions and sacrifices. We pray to win this battle against COVID-19. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to, to invite the IIUM, front, IIUM frontliners representatives. Please welcome Associate Professor Dato Associate Professor Dr. Datuk Muhammad Saufi bin Awang, representative from the Sultan Ahmad Shah Medical Center, <laughs> Professor Dr. Amir Akramin Shafi'i, representing the International Office. Madam Siti Suraya Abdul Rahman, representing Residential and Services Division. <laughs> Madam Hafsah Muhammad Yusuf, representing Student Affairs and Development Division. Dr. Siti Masita Jamaluddin, representing IIUM Health and Wellness Centre. Dr. Muhammad Faris Abdullah, representative, representing Sejahtera Council. Dr. Sufyan Hamad, representing Council of the Principals. And this one, Dr. Harmi Tazi Muhammad, <laughs> representing the Office of Advocacy, Communication and Promotion, OCAP. Mm. And the final one, without him, COVID-19 will just simply enter the campus. So please welcome ASP. PB Shahrul Arifin Maskuri, representing Office of the Security Management, awesome. Thank you very much, all. Thank you very everyone. All right, thank you Tansri, Prof and Dr. Rihanna. Right, you you may now take your seat. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take a look on the video presentation on COVID-19.
Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, the song was composed and produced by Chitra IIUM. Ladies and gentlemen, alhamdulillah, our ceremony has approaching an ending. Now please rise to sing together the IIUM song, Leading the Way. Please be seated. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the organizer, I'd like to express our gratitude to Yang Berbahagia Professor Emeritus, Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, and Puan Sri Datin Masra Abidin for being with us in this ceremony and to the recipients, congratulations and keep up the good work. Not forgetting the organizing committee members and everyone who has contributed and involved in one way or another to the success of the IIUM Takrim Award Ceremony 2020. Last but, but certainly not least, thank you for all 
Thank you all for being a great audience today, especially those who are with us virtually for supporting the awards recipients. And a big thank you, everyone, for we had an excellent event and look forward to seeing you next year, insyaAllah. Kalau ada sumur di ladang, boleh saya menumpang mandi. Kalau ada umur yang panjang, boleh kita berjumpa lagi. Before I end our ceremony, allow me to invite our Fadil Ustaz Shahrul Hisham bin Izhar from the office of IIUM, Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah Mosque to recite the dua. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi alladhi lahu ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard. Wa lahu alhamdu fil akhirah. Wa huwa alhakim alkhabir. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mu'salin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. اللهم أنت ربنا لا إله إلا أنت خلقتنا ونحن عبادك ونحن على عهدك ووعدك ما استطعنا نعوذ بك من شر ما صنعنا نبوء لك بنعمتك علينا ونبوء بذنوبنا فاغفر لنا فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت قلمت الله Lord of mercy and beneficence Bless this Takrim Day 2020 with your pleasure and mercy. O Allah, Lord of bounties and infinite, show upon us your divine guidance that our word and deeds be done in completeness and excellence. Assist us, O Allah, in fulfilling our obligation and seeking your pleasure. O Allah, bless our gathering here today and make us disperse in peace in, and in protection from sins. اللهم اجعل خير أعمالنا آخره وخير أعمالنا خواتمه وخير أيامنا يوم ألقاك فيه اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا والإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنون والجزام ومن سيء الأسقام ربنا أنتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين تقبل الله منا ومنكم جزاك الله أستاذ ladies and gentlemen that's the end of our ceremony today till we meet again stay safe Stay sane. Let us all fight COVID-19. Insha'Allah. See you again next year. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.